Howdy. Good day. Have I the pleasure of addressing Marshal John Craddock? It's uh, Jack Craddock. Oh, of course. Oh, I see you favor the 1873 cult peacemaker, Marshal. I myself am quite fond of the Lamarck. Ain't seen one of them since the war. And you are? Angus Stoddard of the Pinkerton National Detective Agency. Stoddard? The Yankee Hound Stoddard? Yes, yeah, some newspaper men have called me that. Ain't you the one that broke up the Reno gang? Aye, but not without a wee bit of help. Uh, my assistant, uh, Mr. William Walker. It is an honor. Your name is well known in our agency, Marshal. Nice of you to say so, even if you are a lion. Oh, <laughs> don't be modest, Jack. Your fame has spread far beyond this humble borough. Much obliged. What can I do for you boys? We've pursued a dangerous felon into this territory and would like local authority to arrest him. Uh -huh. What's his name? Could you see yourself clear to swear as out as deputies? Yeah, I suppose so. Be my pleasure. Consider yourselves deputized. Thank you. Consider yourself under arrest. John McCarty. Who? McCarty was a member of the James Gang and one of the killers of a Pinkerton agent named John Witcher. It's a 10 year old warrant. What's this got to do with the marshal? I've been hunting this man for 10 years. You see, Jack Craddock is John McCarty. <laughs> You're crazy. You know that? I'm an old hound that's got your nasty scent. Where's your evidence? Yeah, you got evidence? The members of the James gang posed for this in 1870. Let me see that. The man second to your right is you, McCarty. It's ridiculous. Could be any man. Yes, but it isn't, is it, McCarty? Come on, get on with it, William. Read him the rogues' gallery. Read the what? We keep a record of every felon's history and traits. Stop William any time you hear an untruth. Yeah, well, he can stop right now. Oh, let's hear what they have to say, Jack. You telling me you're starting to believe these lies? Let's just see what they have. Thank you. Corporal. John, or Jack McCarty, alias John Calhoun, alias Jack Craddock. Untruth. Was born in Texas in 1841. He served under General Lee during the Civil War and was twice decorated. Half this country fought for the Confederacy. In 1865, 
He joined Quantrill's Guerrillas, where he made the acquaintance of Frank James. I never met him. 1869, robbed the Davies County Savings Bank. 1871, he was present at the Samuels Farm when Pinkerton agent John Witcher was bound... That's a lie! ...to death. Soon after, McCarty escaped to Mexico, where he is believed to have married and fathered a child. Last seen in Texas in 1878. Personal habits, illiterate, often unshaven. Shall I go on? You can talk all you want, but I'll tell you, I've done all the listening I can stomach. Sit down, McCarty. My name is Craddock, Jack Craddock. You, don't do that again. This is an American matter. Get this man into a cell, Mr. Walker. And take that badge off him. With all that color representing the law. Makes me sick. I'll see you, Dollar. And raise you one. Time to handy up or go to bed. See you, Dollar, Jim. And I'll raise you one. Five. I'm up, boys. Thanks for standing by me, Bennett. I'm doing what I can. Yeah, well, it's my neck we're talking about here. I know that, Jack. But there isn't one law for you and another for everyone else. Yeah, well, they're gonna kill me for something I didn't do. Come on, let me out of here. By letting you out, I'm admitting that you're guilty. Save the lecture, open the door. Then give me something to prove that they're wrong. What's the matter with you, Mountie? You starting to believe them lies? You believe I rode with the James gang? You believe I murdered a man in cold blood? Huh? Huh? I'll see your five. Damn. I will raise you ten. Well, are you bluffing, Lenny? Have you got what it takes? You're called Three Kings. Three bullets. Maybe I do got what it takes, Pinkerton. <laughs> Who's watching John McCarty? McCarty? I never met the man. No matter what your black book says, Jack Craddock is not the man you're looking for. Now, how do you know that? He can't be. I know him too well. Do you? Well, let me give you some advice from 30 years of police work. If you look down deep enough, every man is a crook. Jack Craddock may be many things, but deep down I know that he's an honorable man. Cole Younger made a pretty fair choir master when he was hiding from the law in Texas. I won't be robbed of my prize, Corporal. Not after 10 years. Is that what this is for you, Stoddard? A trophy to end your career? Don't you dare lecture me, boy. Otherwise, I'll break your neck. Will you? It's him. You see, we traded shots in 1871, John McCarty and me. I know he's the man. Thank you.
want me to think, Jack? I'm not gonna ask you again. So, you just woke up and happened to find your cell door open. That's what I said. And then you just happened to be upstairs in the general store when Stoddard was shot. No. I was ready to leave town when I heard the shot. I found a side entrance to the general store open. I went inside. I went upstairs. With your rifle? No, I found it laying up there. And that's when the corporal found me. And you didn't see anyone? No. Do you have any idea who opened the cell? I was thinking maybe it was my friend, Clive Bennett. Guess I was hoping for too much. We leave in half an hour. What are you talking about? I understood the trial was to take place here. Yeah. There is a conspiracy in this town to protect this man. Maybe even kill for him. I have to leave now. I object. Corporal, Mr. Stoddard is dead and your marshal is a killer. I am the authority here now. Does anyone know anything that can help the marshal? Where are you, Thompson? Where's Ross Calloway? <laughs> Go look for your scapegoat somewhere else. It's your fault, Bennett. None of this would have happened if you stood up to them Pinkertons. Ready to meet your maker, McCarty? He's on. We are both grown men, McCarty. It is time to face up to what you did. Ready, Corporal? I need more time to find Stoddard's killer. Are you blind? You are looking at him. He had the gun, a motive, and the opportunity. <laughs> Seems like your town is rallying around its own. I will need your help to get out of here. I said, put them on. Marshall is innocent. We have to trust that the jury will too. Now let this officer pass.
Take it out. Marie, please. How could you do that? It's the law. Do you think it was easy? Do you think I didn't feel Jack's eyes on me? Coward. I'll find a murderer, and I will see that justice is done. You're hiding behind the law. I'm upholding it. I respect the law. I can't do more than that. Yes, you can. Deep down inside, you know he's innocent, and you're doing nothing. I am following the law. And you're letting Jack die by following it. Enjoying the scenery, Makati. You better. You won't be enjoying it for much longer. You're the man in charge. It was due and deserved. Sounds like you were none too partial to the man. 20 years I stuck with him. 20 years with a Yankee hound. He deserved to die. So you did all the work, you got all the glory. Is that it? Talk away, McCarty. The only thing that can hear us now is the wind and the trees. Yeah, I suppose so. You know, there ain't a man in that town would have killed Stoddard. Except maybe me. And I didn't. Oh. I know you didn't, Jack. Because I did. Guess you know who let you out of jail. Yeah, you. But why? Well, if you ran, people would see you as guilty. And if you stuck around, well, what better suspect in the murder of that old tyrant? Uh huh. But if all you wanted was to kill him, why bring me into it? Because of four thousand dollars. You are a famous man, McCarty. There's been a company bonus on your head for ten years, dead or alive. Yeah, too bad I ain't McCarty. I know. But you are cursed with a past that's real close. Particularly since you won't be alive to deny it. <laughs> Tell me one thing. Are you John McCarty? Nope. My name's Jack Braddock. Is this a work life? These two say that the reward is still in the books. But few of the Pinkertons really believe that McCarty's still alive.
Do you? No. Whoever McCarthy was, he's dead now. What's he done now, Sally? I caught him smoking. This. This looks like one of Walker's. Did you steal this from him? I ain't talking to you. Ow! Did you take it from the Pinkerton? No, me and Fergus found it when we were ser searching through the general store. General store? Where? Upstairs. In the loft. Thanks, Willie. Corporal, aren't you going to scold him? Corporal! Ah! Where'd you find that, Clive? Willie found it. In the loft. So, you got your proof, Bennett. Should have listened to me in the first place, you know that? I know that's what you think, Jack. And I've heard it from every single person in this town. Good. Certainly wasn't any love lost between Stoddart and Walker. It's not easy working with a legend. You should know that, Clyde. I can't believe you ever want to see that photograph again. All right, what's the matter? You think it's a good likeness? Jack. Jack. 